lights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like about you I got to experience my first vegan fest this year and it was a huge eye-opener so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now even though personally I eat a vegan diet I don't necessarily identify as a vegan simply because I am mainly focused on the health benefits of eating whole food plant-based, which also happens to be a vegan diet. Not that there's anything wrong with identifying or following a vegan lifestyle. I thought it would be helpful to actually look this up in the dictionary real quick. So a vegan simply refers to a person who does not eat any food derived from animals and who typically does not use other animal products. So this could be a wide spectrum of people, right? From the individual who follows a strict vegan diet, but also wears leather belts and shoes and has cosmetic products that were also tested on animals and so on and so forth. Then there's the type of individual that follows a vegan diet, but also involves those other components. So does not wear any clothing derived from an animal, does not wear any products derived from animals. If an animal was harmed or injured in any aspect of the manufacturing, that would be a product that the vegan promoter would not be interested in supporting. So you can get very extreme with your level of veganism ultimately. If you are following a vegan diet for ethical reasons, that's your prerogative and that's wonderful. The longer I have been a vegan, the more and more compassion and kindness I feel towards animals. So I completely get that piece of it. I just wish there was a way to combine the health aspects with that compassion. I feel the bigger picture is so much more important that we all come together with this common goal, both vegan, whole food, plant-based, plant-based, all these different dietary camps in an effort to shift the world towards a more plant-based diet. Now, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I feel we are doing a great disservice to civilization as a whole by focusing solely on the ethical aspect of veganism. People have come to recognize veganism interchangeably with health. And that has become a very dangerous perspective because more and more people are shifting towards the plant-based burgers and the plant-based cheese and all the plant-based junk food in an effort to support the ethical values that are maintained by this vegan lifestyle. But they're also creating more problems, which I feel could be drastically reduced had we focused on both components or a more all-encompassing perspective. I have been a nutrition and weight loss coach for a number of years now, and I cannot count how many people have come to me on the premise that I'm eating a vegan diet and I'm still unhealthy and I'm still fat and I'm still sick. What's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? That's a terrible way to approach the issue of regaining your health in a natural way without medical intervention. So even though I was completely overjoyed by the number of people that were at this event, I was really taken aback by the types of food that they were serving to people and the lines that each food vendor had waiting outside of them. It was just like watching any other event had there been a bunch of animal products. People were just substituting their old burgers for their new burgers and their old tacos for their new tacos, not taking into account any other benefit beyond animal welfare. And again, that's a very admirable decision, but at the same time, why not also remove all of the coconut and palm oil that you're saturating these foods with to try to mimic the flavor and mouthfeel of a usual piece of meat? Because these are not only causing health problems, but they're also causing more deforestation and forest fires and changes to our atmosphere. The high amounts of concentrated protein powder in these patties also mimic the composition of a normal piece of meat, resulting in such things as raising IGF-1 levels and inflammation and all these other biomarkers that are provoking people to shift to this new dietary pattern in the first place. Food manufacturers have been profiting significantly from this deception that just because you're eating something vegan means you're eating something that's good for your body. And although getting rid of all animal foods and products is a huge step in the right direction, it's simply not enough to get the full gamut of health benefits created by eating whole, natural plants. Just because something is less junky does not make it good for you. 
I don't mean to sound so critical. There was certainly this infectious electricity in the atmosphere walking around this vegan fest and seeing all of the love and compassion that these people had for animal welfare and doing right by the world and keeping things organic. And that was obviously very uplifting. And it makes me feel like the world is moving in a very progressive direction because I'm sure even just a decade ago, you might have seen a fraction of the amount of participants that were at this particular festival. So if anybody was curious what goes on at a vegan festival, now you know plenty of vegan vendors that aren't particularly conscientious towards whole food plant-based folks, as well as plenty of exhibitors, face painting, live music, all sorts of fun stuff. So make sure you Google your local vegan fest and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I look forward to all of your comments in response to what you heard or saw in the video.